that I've already said. <laughs> Albert has a big story to tell us, and he's reluctant because I've I've interviewed him many times on this. Okay, <laughs> he's laughing. Okay, so so we are at Sukor in the village, a very scenic village of Sukor, and this is Albert's lovely house with his lovely garden and things like that. Uh, but the story is not uh, the house. The story is Albert's uh, family tree or listing of Gobias. Not necessarily all connected, no. How many on your yeah. list total? I have about three thousand so far. Wow. Yeah. You wouldn't think that there were so many Gobias in Goa to start with, no? It's a rare surname. Well, let us put it this way: all are not Gobias. They are all related to the some Gobia or the other. Okay. So that is how I build it up. It started with the desire just to know what is the immediate family uh, tree. Yeah. And in the process, I have built up and connected so many more, and found out so many more relationships that one would normally in a lifetime forget or lose as you go along. Like many Goan Catholic surnames, it is a Portuguese imported surname, no? Yes, Re- very much. Relating very to a village or a tree or a pl- what? It's related to some village in okay. Portugal, but it must be come from, you know the. <coughs> Way the names were given, it was yeah. either because of the person who was the godfather or the priest who baptized the initial this. Yeah. So uh, where do you? Sorry. Yeah. Where do you find Gobias in uh, Goa today? You find them all over in Sukur. You find quite a bit. You find them in Shorao. You find them in uh, here and there, but mostly Shorao, Sukur is where you will find most of the Gobias and Salvador Mundo also. Bardes. That means only Bardes. Only Bardes. Mostly Bardes. That is what I have found. I have not found very much other places. Manglo, Bombay, East. You Indian. get in uh, in uh, Nagpur, not Nagpur, uh, Dolali. You get a lot of Govias, G O V A S, in uh, Dolali. They are Manglorians. No. I don't know. I have not followed that up. I see. Because my intention has been mainly to search. People related to my family, but the origins are very interesting. You just uh... no another reason why they may have changed their name is because when they wanted employment with the British Times, yes. they anglicized their anglicized. names uh, uh, and all that. Stuff. No, but I think so, Dinesh. So also that is a possibility yes, of yes. why they changed their names. Yes. What you're saying is true, but I think also that uh, some Gobia spell differently are maybe Mangalore, so I'm not sure. I had maybe, that impression. Maybe, maybe, but I have not gone that deep. Neither have I tried to trace it through Komnida records right into the further past than in the what the church records have, and what I found in the church records is up to about 1795 or something like that. No. So and how did it start? It started with as I said for tracing my family tree. When you were not well, when you were when recovering. I, yeah, I was not well. I was away from work for about four months. Yeah. Had nothing better to do. This is a passion that has always been there, being put on the back burner. So I started searching. You software. I use the software called Grams to yeah. record all this, and it's a pretty good uh, genealogy-based uh, software, available free on uh, both on Windows and Linux. I'm not aware if it's available on Mac, but I think it's available on Linux and Windows. I know. Just a word about your background, because I'm always fascinated by your your high-profile background, but your low-profile uh, profile. <laughs> well, it's simple. I worked in the National Institute of Oceanography as a scientist. My career has three parts to it. The first time when I learned oceanography, the second when I dabbled into oceanography and a bit of modeling, and the third when I ran the IT department for the National Institute of Oceanography, your a monster that grew up after the 90s. You're conveniently forgetting to tell us that you're an IITian who studied in IIT. Um, where? Yes, IIT, yes, what? IIT Bombay. Bombay. Computer Bombay. sciences. No, not computer science. Physics. Physicists double in everything. That's what they say. <laughs> and of course, you've been a great supporter of the open source open free software source. movement in Goa. Actually, the start of when open source came into Goa, uh, I was involved through a person called Shankar Dorai Swami. Yeah. Who first started dabbling in Linux. This youngster, no, where is he now? He's still in National Geography. In Goa. In Goa, NIO. I see. I thought he had gone somewhere, posted no, somewhere no, else. No, no, no. He's very much in NIO. Shankar. So I we started dabbling in it. Installed it first in NIO. It's Which a big, year? It's a 90s. 1991, 92. Wow, that's really early, yeah. Early huh? days. In fact, we had got the full software on a three and a half inch tape drive. Tape drive. Which we could not read in Goa. Send it to Bangalore. It was read there, transcribed into another media, and sent back to us. The other media being five and a half inch diskettes. Five inch diskettes and uh, this. My goodness, this is ancient so history, yeah. So then we installed yeah. it, started using it in NIO, and then it spread. 
Wow. That's it. Yeah. Fascinating. So the early days. Thank you. Amazing. Thanks yeah. so much. Always another excuse to get to know another interesting personality. Thank you so much. Thank you. So in that 